Hello everyone, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back and finally Jupiter has turned direct today. It was stationary and I hope it has turned direct today. Alright, so we will discuss on the uh, direct motion of Jupiter in the Nakshatra of Swati and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know about your life about marriage career and health and other issues then you can go to my website and book a reading it is there you'll find the link in the description of this video below all right there you go and if you like this video click the thumbs up and watch the other videos and share it with somebody who is wanting to know what will happen when jupiter goes direct and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so today we will discuss on the nakshatra of swati and what will happen when jupiter is now going direct so we'll discuss in brief because i've already recorded a video with anuradha sharada ji on this nakshatra of swati so i will be uploading that video tomorrow the part one and day after tomorrow i'll be uploading the part two only two parts so you can watch this video and then you can watch those two videos because then you will understand what Swati is basically. So now people say that when a planet moves retrograde in transit, it is very important time. Why do they say that? Because now see generally what happens when a planet is going straight. What does it mean? You are take the example of yourself. You are going straight. It means that you are doing what you are supposed to do. It's a normal trajectory. But suppose you are going back, that means you are going to correct something which you did wrong. Or maybe you realize that there is something more which I could have done. Or there is a different course of action altogether that we need to take. It can be any of it, any of this, alright. And it will depend on what the retrograde planet is, what it is ruling in your chart, where is it transiting. So, for generally, for everybody in transit, when the planet is retrograde, it means that whichever houses that planet is ruling in our chart, significations related to those houses, we will tend to do again. Not necessarily the same thing. It can be different also. Or we can add into it. Like many people have messaged me that when Jupiter was retrograde, they have change their uh, studies Wh whoever had jupiter ruling their fourth house something to do with studies they have done which they did not do when jupiter was direct so march beginning when jupiter went retrograde from that time till now four months they have done so many changes which they did not do that time and as soon as it went retrograde they realized that oh i need to incorporate these things into my education and the nakshatra will give you the flavor because Jupiter started its retrogression in the nakshatra of Vishakha and now it entered back to Swati and now it has stationed and it's moving direct and till 2nd August I guess or August beginning it will be in Swati and then again it will reach Vishakha and then finally it will move on and it will go on to Scorpio by the end of this year. So now what Swati is basically? So we, we need to understand how the progression of the nakshatras is happening. Why Vishakha is coming after Swati? Why it is not coming before? Why is Anuradha coming after Vishakha? Why is it not coming before uh, Vishakha? Okay, so as we know Vishakha spans the first three padas of Vishakha will come in the zodiac sign of Libra and the fourth pada will be in the sign of Scorpio and Swati is the only nakshatra within Libra which totally falls within Libra which means that Libra all the Libra traits are present in Swati because that's like the foundation entire nakshatra is there that's insane which means that if you need to understand what Libra is you have to understand Swati otherwise you cannot understand what Libra is because Libra is primarily made of Swati and the other two nakshatras are also adding their flavors. So Swati is what basically it is space it represents though it basically represents a desire in one way because it is falling in the original seventh house which is the house of desire right we all know and 
it also shows those things which we always want to achieve in life why does it show like that because seventh house see every planet will aspect the seventh house right why why every planet does not aspect the second the third the fourth fifth there are planets which have special aspects like saturn aspects the third and tenth also mars aspects the fourth and eighth jupiter rahu ketu they will aspect the fifth and ninth houses but all the planets including these planets will always aspect the seventh house from wherever it is sitting why because wherever they are sitting it is like saying they possess those traits but directly opposite of that represents those traits which they do not possess is it understood which means that when the living entity comes into aries which is what mars that's the body that shows the physical existence then it always the moment the li- living entity gets birth desire is there <laughs> moment that means the seventh house starts immediately as the first house starts and that is why whichever planet it is we always tend to keep desiring if it's spirituality suppose jupiter is in sagittarius then we will desire the traits of gemini if it is in gemini we will desire the traits of sagittarius all right so libra represents desires and swati is the core foundation of libra so th- th- that is why libra is fully incorporated that is why swati is fully incorporated within libra so therefore now jupiter is transiting over swati what what does this mean so suppose jupiter was ruling any particular house let's take the example of fourth house okay suppose you are a sagittarius lagna then jupiter is ruling your lagna and the fourth house itself okay so suppose jupiter is ruling your fourth house then things related to education it was in vishakha then it went back to swati so from vishakha when a person goes back to swati what happens it's not straight it's backwards then whatever we focused we again lose the focus and then we go and try to see is there anything left which we desired so it will always happen you see whichever house jupiter is ruling if jupiter is ruling your seventh house then it can happen that and if you are a single person and it can happen that you had somehow made up your mind that oh maybe i want my dream mate soul mate to be like this to be like that after it had entered vishakha from swati when it was direct but now again when it entered swati back you could have felt no no man that person has to have this also <laughs> that person has to have that also desires keep increasing when it's in swati and swati is the space where nothing materializes which means that we are going on desiring 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 and that is why if you uh, see the video which anuradha ji has uh, which we have recorded together you will see swati people are, are in a mundane sense on a materialistic sense they are very successful because it is this ever uh, never ending quest for uh, happiness and improving one's material situation okay so that is why now it can happen that when it went retrograde we saw there are some other things also which we desire and now it has stopped stop means we have figured out what is important what else we needed now it is time to move on which means that now we have taken a note of the extra things that we needed if jupiter rules your 10th house suppose you are a pisces lagna then jupiter is ruling your 10th house also apart from the lagna then you will now see you you when it went retrograde you, you and when entered swati from vishakha you would have definitely noticed i know a pisces ascendant who have told me this that she was confused <laughs> about career about to go to this line to that line after jupiter has entered swati the confusion has increased and the other day she was telling me that now she has been able to see what are the other different options which she needed to figure out and now she is like okay these are the options which i have figured out and now i will start narrowing it down see there is no use of giving big big lectures on which is the 
डिटी ऑफ स्वाति वो वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज दैट स्वाति रिप्रेजेंट दिस स्वाति रिप्रेजेंट दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट ऑन अ प्रैक्टिकल लेवल ऑन अ ऑन सो दैट वी कैन अप्लाई इट टू आवर ग्राउंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑन द ग्राउंड एज दिस इन हिंदी जमीन में क्या है ओके सो वी कैन हैपन एंड वी कैन इट कैन हैपन विद अस दैट वी टूक टू मच टाइम एंड देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ हॉट स्पॉट्स एंड वी कूड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट्स राइट वॉट इज रॉन्ग बट नाउ बिकॉज इट इज मूविंग डिरेक्ट इट इज लाइक सेंग नाउ वॉट एवर यू वॉन्टेड टू अचीव इज अचीव्ड एंड नाउ यू आर हैप्पी विद इट हैप्पी दैट डजेंट मीन द टास्क इज अचीव्ड बट यू आर क्लियर ऑन वेयर टू गो और एट लीस्ट ऑन विच आर द डिरेक्शन दैट आई नीड टू गो राइट सो नाउ जुपिटर इज मूव डिरेक्ट सो इट इज अ वंडरफुल टाइम दैट वी वर्क ऑन आवर एग्जिस्टिंग प्लान एंड इट इज अ वंडरफुल टाइम दैट वी टेक अ रियालिटी चेक ऑन विच अवर हाउस ऑफ जुपिटर इज रूलिंग इन आवर चार्ट इज देयर समथिंग एल्स ऑल्सो दैट वी नीड टू डू बिकॉज नाउ इट इज अबाउट टू गो डिरेक्ट सो नाउ इट्स लाइक सींग हेयर देयर is everything fine is everything all right is everything on place do i need to switch off the light do i need to throw this microphone off do i need to close my youtube channel or do i need to start my youtube channel so these are the questions which we will ponder depending on which house of jupiter is ruling and whichever planet is situated in libra okay so suppose you have a planet situated in libra suppose your moon is in libra then it can happen that you are mentally very much getting affected by all this i i i know people who have moon in libra and now moon in libra in swati i am saying specifically in swati even if your moon is not in swati in the other two nakshatra still you will feel it but if your moon is specifically in libra or if you have venus there or if you have sun there or any other planet then because jupiter is the natural karaka for op- the optimism you will naturally feel optimistic about making different changes and incorporating new things but the only issue with swati is it's getting all over the place sometimes it's like too much <laughs> sometimes and for them everything is less because it's vayu wherever they go they feel oh there's some there's something less here there's something more which i need to achieve so it can happen that we are sometimes too much unnecessarily worried oh this is not happening that is not happening what will happen this will happen that will happen hold on calm down <laughs> chill <laughs> nothing is going to happen just relax so now you will be able to figure out what actually you need to do in reality okay so i hope that uh, i could give a realistic understanding of what will what what's going to happen and what has happened after jupiter had entered swati in retrogression and now as it is moving direct and by the end of this month it will almost cross swati and by june beginning it will enter vishakha and when it enters vishakha we will make concrete decisions among all the various options that we have had in the recent past and i know i have seen people writing in the comments so i was figuring out these 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 and now i'm confused so hold on now you will be able to see what's happening okay and if you want a more detailed explanation and if you want to know that suppose you have venus placed there or you have sun or you have saturn placed what's going to happen with you then you can always go to my website and book a reading and whichever area it is relationships or career you can just mention uh, in the email which you send to me that i want to specifically know about the transit of jupiter in swati how is it going to affect me in the area of my career if you want to know about career because uh, recently many people have taken readings from me sp- specific to uh, the transits because transits also affect us and many people have booked their uh, eclipse readings also okay so you can also book the reading for eclipse i mean you can write in it to me in the mail that i want to know about my relationships from the perspective of eclipse suppose you have venus placed in gemini or cancer then these two eclipses will be very important and especially if you have venus in capricorn it will be even more important because ketu is transiting over there okay and the uh, eclipse which is on july 27th will be over your venus and if your 10th lot is placed then it can be related to your career so if you are interested in uh, knowing more specifically you can go to my website for a reading all right there you go so i wish you all the best for the transit of jupiter in swati this will only happen after 12 years so whatever changes you want to make make it now and make concrete decisions as i always say 
when I talk about Swati that take a pen and a paper and write down the things and you can take all suggestions from 10 people from 100 people in fact but now is the time that you put your ideas into action and one caution I would give that since the time till 11th August is not that great great in the sense not bad not that it is bad but it is a bit of turbulence turbulence means there will be a lot of changes because of the eclipse so normally every year eclipses happen there's nothing big so this is the time of this year where there will be eclipses okay so there can be some kind of confusion uh, this Swati energy is there and then you have Saturn energy also in Mula it's like totally opposite energies <laughs> Jupiter and Swati is like, oh, what optimism, oh, I'll do this also, I'll do that also. And then Saturn is Mula, Saturn in Mula is telling, no, you have to throw this out, you have to do only one thing. So there can be this level of confusion which is there. But you don't have to worry, just do meditation properly. Just do your mantras properly, maintain a very good lifestyle. Try to attend satsang programs if you can. And that's it, maintain a sattvic lifestyle. And if you want to know more about Swati, then please watch the video which i'll be uploading part one with anuradha ji tomorrow and the part two on day after tomorrow all right so there you go if you want a consultation please go to my website and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what jupiter is going to do when it's direct in swati all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye see you tomorrow with anuradha ji bye bye